Good day everyone. Learn how to fix Windows 11 keep randomly freezing. So to fix that, we are going to do some 5 to 6 very easy and very effective steps and we are going to fix this problem. So the very first thing here is to restart properly. Use the restart option, click on the start and then go to the power button and then restart. So restart option just to clear memory and many issues get fixed you know just with the restart the next thing which you can do install all the latest windows updates so do a right click go to settings and then go to windows update and check for updates if there are any updates are pending you can simply install it and restore the next thing is update drivers. So visit your PC's manufacturer site for the latest graphic and chipset driver. So no matter which uh, graphics, I mean, the manufacturer you have, they do provide drivers like HP, Dell, Lenovo. So you know the model number, go to the site and update it. The next thing is scan for the malware. So to scan that, open your windows security from the bottom right corner and make sure it has all the check marks with the green and do a quick or full scan you get the scan option go with the full scan it will take time but it will ensure that there are no malwares or any virus and the few the next thing is checking the task manager as well so i'll do a right click I'll go to task manager and then I'll go to performance see what exactly is causing the problem is the CPU is getting 100% what about the memory disk see that and if you have uh, there is one more thing which is very important guys if you have connected any extra device to your laptop or a desktop if you're not using it unplug that so there are you know, if we connect USB speakers and some extra devices to your PC, that may also cause problems. So, un I mean, just remove it and see if that works for you after restarting the computer. And now we will go to the deeper troubleshooting. So we are going to repair, I mean, if there are any corruption in your computer. So we will run the DISM command and uh, SFC command. So to do that, click on the search icon, type CMD, run as administrator, say yes. And here you just need to type SFC space forward slash scan now. And you just need to hit enter and this will begin the system scan for you. And it should not take much time. It may take two to three minutes, maybe max four minutes. Depends on your computer. And the next command is the DISM command. That's the advanced version of, you know, repair. And you just need to open Google and type DISM commands. I'll mention these commands in the description as well. DISM commands, Windows 11. And here you get DISM check health. So copy that and click on the search icon, run as administrator, the command prompt, and then paste it right there and check for the health. So it says the component store is repairable. Now the next command is scan health. So we will copy DISM scan health like this and I'll hit enter. Now it says Scan. So it's scanning the computer, scanning the PC, and it's doing the online. It requires the internet as it fixes online if there are some corruption in your windows. And then the final command is DISF, online, clean up image, restore health. Copy that and paste it to the command prompt once this is done. So I'm just showing you, so I'll just close that. Now the next thing which you can do is to run a I mean, memory diagnostic tool. 
or I would recommend even there could be a problem with the display. So just try to lower down the resolution. If you have increased very much uh, the resolution, go to the display settings. I mean, do right click, go to display settings and display resolution. If it's recommended, that's fine. But you can go with the lesser one as well. Try that works if that works for you. All right. And you can also disable the fast data. So to do that, we need to search control panel. And once the control panel is opened, click on view by large icons so that you can see like this. And then we will go to power options. So here is the internet option. We have the power option. And so once we are here in the power options, we will select choose what closing the lid does. So from here, we need to turn off the fast startup. So that also fixes if your system is, you know, stuck or getting hanged. So click on this change. I'll go back. I'll show you. I'll go to choose what the closing lid does and then change settings that are currently unavailable. And from here, turn off the fast startup, click on save changes. And this will fix for most of us. I mean, whatever the issue you have, that will be fixed for most of us. So you can also let me know in the comment section. You can also go to the, you know, safe mode. You can try that. You just need to turn on the computer. The moment you turn on, just keep pressing on F2, F7, F8, or F10. And then you will get the advanced option where you can select the safe mode. And you can also do the system restore. So revert to a point before freezes started. So let's say if your computer was freezing tomorrow, I mean yesterday, then try to restore to the earlier time. So revert to a point where it should work for you. If you want to restore, just click on search and type restore. Create a restore point. And from here, you can go to the system restore. So in system restore, you will find restore system file and settings so you can see the date you can also choose a different restore point click on next and see the date and select that system restore and click on next and it will be restored to that date all right so do let me know in the comment section whether this tutorial is helpful or not and if yes please hit the like and subscribe i'll see you in the next tutorial have a wonderful day